Let's go north. Let's go north. Oh my god, oh. horizontal! Oh my god! This is violent. <clears throat> you guys, it's right there, right hey, there. Scott, we're good. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, cars. Hey, cars. Look at there goes there goes cars. What? Oh I saw headlights go flying. Oh my god. Josh, you need to stop. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep we'll going. Go we're slow. Fine. We'll go we're slow. Fine. We'll go slow. Oh my god. We need to see if anybody's all right. Oh we need to go. Oh, it's hitting, it's hitting something. <coughs> wow, this we are shaking. Look at debris. Oh shit. Call 911. Go! Call 911. Go! Go! Call 911. That was our Video tape, Kyle. Video tape. Uh, there was also one other person who was severely injured who's still um, in uh, serious condition in the hospital. Uh, we understand that 20 individuals were, went to the hospital last evening. Um, six of those stayed overnight for further treatment. Um, obviously, our first responders here have done an outstanding job. Uh, we thank them very much. Uh, we activated the State Emergency Response Center yesterday. We tracked the storms, kept in constant contact yesterday evening. Most of the damage was done yesterday evening between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Uh, I signed a proclamation, a declaration this morning, a state disaster declaration. Uh, that allows us, if we need to, to visit with the uh, federal government about federal support. Uh, we don't believe that will be necessary at the present time. It al also allows us to streamline the procurement process so we can fund private resources to help the families recover as needed.